It's a busy day at the Attica Cultural Festival in Whitehorse. It's the perfect backdrop for the public to come out and flip through old photos. Great opportunity for Yukoners to come out and find maybe their family members or friends or people that uh, may have passed on now. We brought about 600 photos to, to be identified. <laughs> Yukon's Minister for Tourism and Culture, Jeannie Dandies, is hoping for the public to identify who's who in some of these photos. This caption here is Cape Carmack's gravesite. And it's not surprising, coming from the Yukon, that I would have some local knowledge to add. Her duck lady named Shawakaw. Shawakaw. That would be really neat to yeah. put that in, to add that to the information. Oh, and there's my grandmother, Agnes Johns. The photographs come from a local newspaper, the White Horse Star, which back in the 80s donated close to 40,000 photographs covering the years from 1959 to 1979 to the Yukon Archives. We're asking the public to help us identify um, all people within, within the uh, photos, but particularly the First Nation um, individuals that were generally unidentified um, when photos were taken. I believe I found a picture of my brother um, who has uh, since passed on, so that was really nice to see. So, um, yeah, that was nice. So I'll have to bring my mom back. Shirley Dawson came across a picture of her late brother, Victor Bill, en route to a wrestling tournament with his coach and teammates. It was uh, a time in his life when, uh, you know, he had uh, lots of adventure, lots of things um, to do in his, in his li young life. And, you know, it shows that uh, he was uh, a young athlete and it was really nice to see. In chambers. Yeah. I actually found uh, some relatives, uh, some dancers um, from back in 74. So that was kind of cool to see uh, um, my old dance group. I think that um, they tell different stories and that's what we're hoping to have individuals come and tell us some stories as well about, about different times. The new information will be added to the records in Yukon Archives database. And in that photo is a four-year-old me proudly dancing on stage for some event way back in 1974. Shirley McLean, EPTN National News, Whitehorse.